Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So this year in 2023, recipients of Social Security benefits, including SSI and SSDI, as well as retirement, did receive a cost of living adjustment of 8.7%. This was one of the highest increases of all time. However, there is a dire warning about that increase that I definitely need to go over in this video that is very important to mention. Also, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy released the Republican debt limit bill yesterday. So I'll be going over what cuts are in it and what President Joe Biden is already saying. Now, before I dive into the main content of today's video, if you wouldn't mind helping me out real quickly by just giving this video a like, that just helps out with the good old YouTube algorithm, and also consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Okay, so according to The Hill, House GOP's long-awaited debt limit bill features $1.5 trillion increase. So House Republicans' go-it-alone debt limit bill pairs a debt ceiling increase expected to last into next year with what Speaker Kevin McCarthy said would be about $4.5 trillion in savings generated in part by cutting Biden administration priorities. The bill released on Wednesday dubbed the Limit Save Grow Act aims to raise the debt limit by $1.5 trillion or through March 31st, 2024, whichever comes first. The $4.5 trillion in savings for taxpayers that Republicans say are in the bill also come from a slew of proposals that have already been met with opposition from Democrats, including measures calling back coronavirus funding previously allocated by Congress that they say has gone unspent and targeting the Biden administration's student loan forgiveness decision and ongoing repayment pause. The bill additionally has measures targeting aspects of the Inflation Reduction Act, a signature piece of Biden's domestic agenda that Democrats passed without GOP support last year. It would pull roughly $70 billion in an IRS funding boost and end that legislation's green giveaways, McCarthy said in an apparent reference to green energy tax credits. New work requirements on public assistance programs are also in the bill that includes beefing work requirements for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, previously known as food stamps, for those between 50 and 56 years old. There are also changes proposed to the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families program. A portion of the bill also outlines work requirements for Medicaid, though it does not include changes to Social Security and Medicare, as long promised by Republicans. So at this point in time, we will have to see whether or not the Republicans can pass this bill. It is expected that they will be voting on the bill next week. Right now, they do have a narrow majority in the House, so they should be able to pass it through as long as they can get pretty much every Republican on board with the plan. However, at this time, it is unlikely that it will pass the Senate because right now all Democrats are saying that they will not approve this bill because they are completely against all the cuts that Republicans are for in this bill. So likely whenever it reaches the Senate, it will be dead on arrival. However, the main idea behind this bill is that it will finally get Joe Biden to the negotiating table with Kevin McCarthy because over the last few months, Joe Biden has been dodging the request made by Kevin McCarthy to negotiate in raising of the debt ceiling. So unsurprisingly, according to Politico, Biden rejects McCarthy's debt limit plan. So President Joe Biden on Wednesday delivered a sweeping rebuke of House Republicans debt limit proposal, calling it a non-starter that would impose deep cuts to critical programs across the board. He said, quote, that's the MAGA economic agenda, spending cuts for working and middle class folks. It's not about fiscal discipline. It's about cutting benefits for folks that they don't seem to care much about. So obviously this is going to be a very big issue. They are going to have to raise the debt ceiling by some point later on this summer. Otherwise we are going to default and we're no longer going to be able to pay off all of our debts. So this is going to be a very big problem. Republicans are saying that we need to raise the debt ceiling but pair it with other spending cuts. Whereas Democrats are saying that we need to raise the debt ceiling, but we're not going to cut any benefits at this point in time. Democrats are not willing to negotiate. So we're going to have to see how long this standoff is for. But it is very important that we do raise the debt ceiling because if we don't, there's going to be a whole host of issues that go on. For example, we're probably going to see a stock market collapse. People are going to be freaking out. We might see a lot of bank runs. And even though Social Security payments should continue going out, there's been a lot of articles released online saying that Social Security payments could actually be canceled and they will no longer go out if we're unable to raise the debt ceiling. Fortunately for us, back in 1996, there was a law passed 
basically saying that if we do not raise the debt ceiling, we can still send out Social Security payments. So fortunately, payments will continue to go out. The downside though, however, is it is very possible that there could be a delay in receiving the payment. So if you normally receive your payment, for example, on the second or third Wednesday, or even fourth Wednesday of the month, then it's possible that your payment could be delayed by maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks, possibly even a month. And obviously a lot of Americans rely on social security benefits every single month to have their check on time. They might have like rent due on the first. And if, they're, if their payments have not arrived by the first of the month, obviously they can't make rent on time. And if they use like a debit card or something for groceries and their payments have not arrived yet on their debit card, then obviously that's going to create a huge issue as well if they're not able to pay for groceries or other bills. So we definitely need to make sure that they raise the debt ceiling and in a timely manner. And most Americans would actually agree. So according to a new poll by CBS, when people were asked what Congress should do in regards to the debt ceiling, 70% of Americans say that we should raise the debt ceiling to avoid defaults on debt. So obviously most Americans are behind raising the debt ceiling but at the end of the day, we are going to need to see both the House Republicans and the Senate Democrats get behind the same bill. We'll have to see whether or not they can negotiate and come up with a plan over the next couple of months. Now, in some other news, while we're on the topic of Social Security, as you all know, at the beginning of the year, you all would have received an increase, a COLA increase of 8.7%. This is something that happens every single year based on whatever the inflation reading of CPIW is. So 8.7% was automatic. There was nothing that you had to do. Everyone received it. It wouldn't matter whether you received Social Security retirement, SSI or SSDI benefits, it was automatic. There was nothing that you needed to do. Though unfortunately, whenever these increases happen, or whenever big raises happen, like this one that happened uh, at the beginning of this year, a lot of scams unfortunately do end up taking place. So. A lot of people actually over the past month or so have been receiving letters from who they believe was the Social Security Administration. These letters looked very, very legitimate. It looked like something exactly like what you would have received from the Social Security Administration. I mean, it seems like the scams over the years are getting better and better. People are better at replicating what you would normally receive. So these letters look very, very much official. And in these letters, are, there is basically letting people know that there was an 8.7% cost to them adjustment, but they have not yet activated this adjustment. So they're basically saying that in order to receive your 8.7% cost to them adjustment, you have to call this number. And of course, whenever you call, there's someone there that's very much happy to help you, of course, to receive your 8.7% increase, but there are strings attached with anything so of course they're going to ask to send money that there's a problem that unfortunately it was too late to unlock or activate your 8.7% cost of adjustment. So in order to do so, you will have to send them something like gift cards or send them Bitcoin or something that cannot be traced basically. So these scams are getting very, very good. This is something that you'll definitely need to look out for. So if you receive any type of letter in the mail claiming it's from the Social Security Administration or even the IRS for that matter saying that your cost of living adjustment has not been activated, just believe it is a total lie. Every single year, there's nothing that you have to do to receive your COLAs. They're automatic. You don't have to go onto the website to activate them. You don't have to call any numbers to activate them. They are automatic. And in the future, if you receive anything from the Social Security Administration and you're wondering whether or not it's legitimate, just make sure to call the Social Security Administration itself. Go onto their website. Make sure it's their real website. I will link it in the description box below. But go there, call them, call that number that's on the website, on their official website, and ask them whether or not that letter is real. Any letters that you do receive from the Social Security Administration, make sure that the number on the letter matches up with what's on the website before you take any action. And again, 
the IRS nor the Social Security Administration is ever going to ask you to send them money or any type of information like that. So just keep that in mind. But that's all the news that we have for today's video. I certainly hope that you enjoyed. If you did, again, I would greatly appreciate if you could give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video.